Hey, this is Ryan and Angela from AustinReviews.com, and this week on Blue Monday we have the releases for August 17th. First up, we have the Miley Cyrus movie, The Last Song, on Blu-ray. And then we have season one of Cougar Town, followed by the final season of Ugly Betty. And as a special treat, we have the August 24th release of Ajami by Kino. I hope I got that name right. Uh, it, it was one of the nominees for Best Foreign Film. Mm -hmm. okay. So first up, let's talk about the last song on Blu-ray. Right. Now, this movie was beautiful on Blu-ray. Uh, the ocean, the landscapes, it, it's, it's a great movie to look at. And I think that, that really what is what pulled me in, especially on Blu-ray. I, I love the movies on Blu-ray where the scenery becomes a, a character. Yeah. Because it it's just beautiful. And then to it's look worth at. watching again on that alone. Yeah, and uh, I was actually surprised by the fact that I I kind of like this this movie. The story. Yeah, I I, I like the story. It was heartfelt and touching, and Greg Kinnear was great in it. Yeah. The only thing that kind of holds this film back is Miley Cyrus. It, she just has kinda, no acting ability. Well, that's to be expected, I think. It, at least no dramatic acting ability. I'm sure she was fine on. Disney Montana. Channel. I didn't watch that, so. Uh, as far as the picture and the sound, they're beautiful, exquisite, and the, the sound provides, you know, great emotion during the songs, and it, it's really, it's a really nice soundtrack to listen to. Uh, minus the Miley Cyrus song. That yeah, because she sings some in there. Yeah, uh, that, I, I didn't really care for that song, and it's one of the special features as a music video. Oh. The other music videos are, you know, from what you expect, from a regular DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, we do have kind of a tour of the set and kind of a behind the scenes look at you know some of the people that make the movie, talking to like Miley Cyrus's uh, bodyguard and stuff. Uh, but nothing really special for the special features. But I'm, I'm surprised that I like the movie so much and I think anybody that's like a fan of The Notebook or anything like that. Uh, from Nicholas Sparks. Yeah, from Nicholas Sparks who also wrote this. Uh, I think they would really, really enjoy the movie, so I'm going to suggest I'm going to give it a rent. Ooh. Yeah. Miley very, Cyrus a rent. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing it, but yeah, <laughs> giving her a rent. Okay, well, moving on, then we have season one of Cougar Town. Uh, this is an ABC show, and it's had a lot of controversy just because of the name alone. Um, they've talked about changing it, but and after seeing all the episodes now, I hope they don't, because they should just stick with it, you know, so they should just put their foot down. It's a really funny show written by Bill Lawrence, who did Scrubs, who, you know, that show was on for, what, nine seasons, ten seasons? It's really got that same kind of flair, and it's even less a star in Courtney Cox, which, so it has that kind of vibe of Friends, only 20 years later, talking about a little bit more mature things, plus that spin that kind of Scrubs puts on it. So it's a really hilarious show. I love the show. Does it remind you anything of, like, uh, Sex in the City? Uh, a tiny, tiny bit, but it's much less serious here. I mean, there are 30-minute shows, the same as Sex and City are, but Sex and City kind of covered more of, like, adult relationship problems. And this is kind of just um, Courtney Cox being 40 and single again because she's had a divorce and kind of showing uh, how tough it is for her to kind of get back out in the world. Whereas they also show 40-year-old men who are just right back out there like they never left. So that's kind of some of the humor in there. So how many episodes do you get out of the first season? There's 24 episodes on here, actually, so it's quite a lot. Um, and I watched every single one of them, and I had been watching some of it on TV, and there's a lot of them I didn't even get to see. So um, there's also some bloopers on there. Um, if you deleted scenes, it's normal. And there's this one funny bit with, um, there is a true cougar character on the show named Barb, who she's supposed to represent kind of like the 60-year-old cougar. But I actually looked her up. She's only like three years older than Courtney Cox. <laughs> so anyway, she does. So this she's not quite the mountain lion. That yeah, they want her to be. yeah. But she kind of rep. She kind of looks like it with the way she dresses, and she totally looks like she's from Florida, which that's where the show takes place. Um, a little piece with her, like it's her blog, and she's answering questions of how do you get a man over a certain age, and so that was like probably the funniest thing on the special features. Um, overall, there's not like a whole lot. I mean, it's a comedy show. You can't really expect too much. But this is a show that I would absolutely watch over and over again, the same as Scrubs or Sex and the City, any of those. So I'm going to have to say own it to go right. buy it. Buy it, man. <laughs> buy the Cougar Town.
It's cougarific, huh? It is cougarific. All right, next up we have uh, the final season of Ugly Betty on DVD. On now, DVD. I didn't get a chance to see this, but Angela did, so... Yeah. I know you're not a fan of the no. show. I, I was watching some of the show before I got this on, on just television, and it's just a ridiculous concept, and, and they just blow things way out of proportion, and it also upsets me that the person who designed the clothes for Sex and the City uh, did the clothes for this, and it's like she took cocaine or something before she did these because uh, the you, colors are so bright it's just like the most outrageous clothing i mean they're trying to be fashionable like ahead of the curve because she works at a, a magazine that works on fashion and she's supposed to be the one who doesn't know anything about it i mean i'm sure you know about it if you if you've gotten this far if you've gotten to season four this is the end of the show though this it got canceled after this it does wrap up you get a final ending which was kind of sweet but it was really you see it coming i mean it's not like anything too special or anything. Um, personally, I will never watch the show again because I didn't like it to begin with. If you love the show, it should probably be something you should collect if you've gotten this far, you know? Um, there's more special features on this one than there were on Cougar Town. There's, there's more about them on set kind of playing this little game while they go film one of the shows in the Bahamas and there's deleted scenes and there's bloopers and there's commentary, which there was no commentary on Cougar Town, which that was kind of sad. So, commentary is always a big thing for me. That's yeah. always a reason to own something, I think. Especially with the TV show. You know how much commentary that is? Yeah, that's, that's a ton. That's and a usually lot. Usually, TV shows don't have very much. I mean, they'll do, like, a couple episodes, but they usually don't. Yeah, so... I, I hate to do this because the show sucked, in my opinion. But I'm going to have to say to at least rent it. At if least you're interested it. in the show? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're not interested, don't, don't, don't rent it. But if you're interested in the show, you've been watching it, maybe you didn't see how it ended, go rent it, and then maybe pop on some of the commentary and look at the bloopers. Bloopers are always funny. Yeah. So, rent it. All right. So, next up, we have Ajami, which comes out uh, August 24th. Uh, so, you're going to have to wait a week, but it's definitely worth it. This movie was amazing. I, I was blown away by the cinematography. The story is so heartfelt. It's a little Pulp Fiction-esque. And I think that'll help you going in because I had no clue. <laughs> so, you know, when you have a sort of idea that a, a movie's about to, like, jump timelines, it, it kind of prepares you for it. Because as I was going through, I thought, maybe I missed something. Or maybe my Blu-ray was defective because we were jumping timelines and following different characters in the same time period and I was trying to figure out what was going on. I thought maybe I'm a little lost in translation here, yeah. but I, I wasn't. I caught right back up and at the end I was just blown away. The story is great. I totally understand why it was nominated. Uh, everything in this movie is awesome. And the special features are really good on this too because uh, they show you kind of what they had to go through and the actors went through to make this movie. You have, you know, scenes of them in theaters discussing the film and everything. The picture is a little grainy, but it kind of adds to the tone and the flair of the film. Uh, the sound is spot on, it's perfect, and I'm gonna have to give this Kino release a definite buy it. So mm -hmm. if you can go check out Ajami, do it as soon as you can. I'm sorry you have to wait a week, but uh, it's... It gives was, you something to look forward to. Yeah, it, it was definitely one of my favorite films in a while. And uh, it's definitely worth checking out. All right. Well, that was short and sweet for this week. <laughs> yeah. So um, I guess tune in next week, see what we have for you next week. All right, that's it for Blue Monday. Uh, we'll see you guys later.